do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter morphology of plants in that we are studying topic structure of a seed inside fruit there is a seed and this seed is a by product of sexual reproduction which is of different colors shape and size today we will be studying what is the actual structure of seed seed during the process of sexual reproduction in plants the result of sexual reproduction is actually a seed on which a fruit comes and when you sow a seed a flower can be grown seed can be of varying shape sizes color etc a typical seed basically consists of seed coat or outer covering and the embryo region those are the two important regions of a seed now embryo will grow or it will lead to the formation of radical plumule and two cotyledons what are those radical plumule and two cotyledons whenever your mother sows soaks water seeds or whenever your mother puts seeds of any legume inside water the small growth that comes out of those legumes the sprout basically in normal language is nothing but the radical of that seed of a legume now this radical will basically grow into different parts the plumule that comes out the green leafy structure will precisely grow into the shoot region and your radical will basically form the root region those two cotyledons present inside the legumes plants or the seeds are basically the region that store reserve food material whenever the plant is germinating they serve as a reserve food material until unless the root region comes into picture the seed coat also consists of the inner tegument and outer testa region the structure of seed seeds are basically the by product of sexual reproduction in plants basically in flowering plants or angiosperms now a typical seed basically consists of two major important parts the seed coat or outer covering and the embryo an embryo basically consists of radical the small outgrowth plumule the green color structure and two cotyledons or two parts of the seed the cotyledons basically store reserve food material or extra food material until and unless the roots of the plants come this reserve food material is used during the process of germination plumule basically the green parts develop into the shoot or the stem region whereas the radical develops into the root region this is a structure of a seed this diagram represents the structure of a seed inside this structure we see that there is micropyle and now this micropyle is the region through which your gametes will enter inside the ovary during the process of sexual reproduction which is guarded by a layer called as helium this is the outer region which is termed as testa this represents a dicotyledonous seed this is the dicot seed it consists of one cotyledon and the second cotyledon there is a presence of envelope which is termed as seed coat which protects the seed in wear and tear conditions whenever a seed is germinating there will be a young leaf coming out which will represent the plumule region now this young leaf along with the plumule will develop into shoot whereas the small outgrowth that is radical will develop into the root and hence a young plant will develop from a seed under specific conditions and requirements students in this part of the chapter we have studied about 
the structure of a seed how different parts of the seed that is the seed coat embryo cotyledons radical plumule help a seed to grow in a better manner and develop a small plantlet i hope you all are clear about this concept of seed thank you